Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Do you know you cannot believe God beyond your knowledge of the will of the Word of God? You cannot believe God for anything beyond your knowledge of the will of God or the Word of God. So you see, he said, my people are destroyed not for lack of inspiration. What we need is not inspiration, but information. You can shout, you can jump, you can fall out five times a day under the power of God. You can get all excited, but friends, that's not what's going to see you through the storm. It's not inspiration, but information we need. Information about God and His Word. You cannot have faith without knowledge of His Word. You cannot have faith without knowledge of His will. You see, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. People today all over this world are fighting battles. They're striving to live for God. They're striving to get peace in their heart. Well, what is it that they need? Many of them are being destroyed. Now, you know what the word destroyed means? Cut off. Cut off. My people are cut off because of a lack of knowledge. Do you know if you don't have a knowledge of salvation, you'll be cut off from salvation? If you don't have any knowledge about healing and the power of God to heal, you'll be cut off from healing, the healing power of God. If you don't have any knowledge from God's Word about the miracles of God, you'll be cut off from that part of God's blessing in your life. If you don't have any, any knowledge about uh, Satan and his defeat and his lies and his deception, then you're cut off from being delivered from his power. You see, my people are cut off because of a lack of knowledge. I'm telling you folks, we don't have to drag through life conquered by the devil. We can rise up and go through life as conquering Christians. Hallelujah. The devil wants to keep you ignorant. He trembles at the very fact that you're listening to the Word of God now. He knows that if you get knowledge about God's power and the power of Jesus and the power of His blood and the power of His name, He knows that He's going to have to get off of your territory and to set the captives free. He knows that's true. I think about that wind beating upon your homes here, beating upon your life, the adversities, oh, the vicissitudes of time, uh, of the world, and all that comes against us, the battles we have beating upon us, beating upon that marriage, beating upon your finances, beating upon your children, beating upon your house, beating upon your body. It, they came and beat upon that house. But you see, the one founded upon the sand fell, but the one founded on the Word of God, the one founded on doing the Word of God, it was still standing after all the storm was over. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,